The glory of the Lord is not the ways of God. It is the heart and the nature of God. It's the character of God. So when you and I experience a feeling, when we experience a move of God, what we are experiencing is the anointing of God. And it should flow from the heart and the character and the nature of God. In other words, Jesus operated in healing, in miracles, in signs, if you remember, out of a heart of compassion. So he was compelled by love. He was compelled by the nature of God. He was compelled by the character of God. This because a lot of times people look at my TikToks, they look at my YouTubes and they want to, they're like, man, I want to be able to operate like that. And the first thing I ask them is, how much of the word of God are you reading? How much time are you spending in God's presence? How is your heart for people? Do you feel a genuine love and compassion for people? Um, put all this in a book because it was part, part of my pursuit, part of my journey has been ex um, coming into the wave of the Holy Spirit after being in a denominational setting for many, many years, understanding uh, salvation, but not understanding the power uh, that we have to actually be set free, learning how to manage demons in my life, but not knowing how to be delivered from demons in my life. Um, and then from there, uh, God going back and saying, okay, but understanding my nature and my character is utmost important. important. Uh, so in the Greek, the word caricature is actually a tool that was used to carve an image. It was used to press. It was a stamp that was used to press an image into the wax. Um, so it was something that would, was caused to leave an impression um, or to impress another option, uh, uh, another object. So in other words, the nature and the caricature of God is the object, is the person, is the thing. His nature is what should be impressed into us through the blood of Jesus. Yes, it's a mold, Beto. It's what should be impressed into us. And moreover, we, sh we should come into the likeness of his nature. We were designed in the image of God. And we should therefore then leaving that same impression into the lives of those around us. And so one of the things I talk about is like, you can have a really good personality, but have terrible character. But ultimately, people might remember your personality, but your character is what leaves an impression in their lives. Um, so I'm, I, I say all that to say I'm about to read to you a section of where I was impressed. And when I was first coming into the wave of the Holy Spirit, I was introduced to a couple of pastors who absolutely have incredible anointings and operated very powerfully. But honestly, that's not what impressed me. What impressed me was their love. All right, so let's get to it.